Hello, welcome to the Simutrain FEA Tips and Tricks series brought to you by Simutech Group. This video will demonstrate how to set up a simple parameter study using both Space Claim Direct Modeler and ANSYS Workbench Mechanical. For this arbitrary example, we'll use this model representing a sort of bracket. In a static structural analysis, the model is fixed at the base and subjected to a 1 kN pretension load between these two bolt holes using a beam connection. The results from this analysis are then used downstream for a pre-stressed modal analysis. For this example, let's say we are interested in varying both the radius of these two fillets and, independently, the bolt pretension load to investigate the effects these variations have on the total mass of the part, the peak stresses in the fillets, and the frequency of the first mode. Let's start by telling ANSYS that we want the fillet radius to be our first input parameter. In ANSYS, we call this promoting a value, and for geometric features we can do this using Space Claim Direct Modeler. Once the model is open in Space Claim, all we need to do is activate the Pull tool, select both fillet surfaces as if we were about to edit the fillet radius value, and then, in the pop-up toolbar, Click this icon here, a capital P with a box around it, to promote the fillet radius to a parameter. We can control this value now from the parameter set window in Workbench, but before we dive into that, let's get the rest of our model inputs and outputs promoted to parameters. In Mechanical, Values in the Details window that can be promoted to parameters will have an empty checkbox just to the left of the value field. We need our second input parameter to be the bolt pretension load. We can promote this value simply by selecting the bolt pretension object in the tree and clicking the checkbox next to the 1 kN value in the load field. For output values, the process is the same, and we will go ahead and do this for the mass of the model, found in the geometry branch of the tree, the maximum stress in the fillet surfaces found in a stress result object scoped to the fillet surfaces, and the frequency of the first mode from the pre-stressed modal analysis found in a total deformation result object set to mode 1. Now, all of our values of interest have been promoted to the parameter set. Back in Workbench, there is now a parameter set bar linking our analyses together, and if we double click on it, the parameter set tab will open. The window on the left provides an outline of our parameters and their initial values. The window on the right contains a list of design studies, or design points, where we can explicitly create combinations of the input parameter values to generate sets of output values. The first two columns are the input parameters, which we can edit, while the last three columns are the output parameters, which will be updated as each of the design points are solved. For this example, we will look at fillet radius values of 1, 5, and 10 millimeters, permutated with pretension loads of 1, 2, and 3 kilonewtons. Once our values are all entered, we can solve all the design points by pressing the Update All Design Points button in the toolbar. With our design point table filled, we can quickly create charts to visualize the data by first clicking in the Outline window and then double-clicking the parameter chart object in the toolbox. For this chart, we'll simply set the x-axis to the design point number, the first y-axis to the fillet stress, and the second y-axis to the mode 1 frequency. To display the chart, we can quickly refresh the chart window by clicking on a different row in the outline table and then reselecting the parameter chart. From this, we can quickly identify stress and frequency trends as a function of the design points. When an analysis requires understanding the response behavior of a design to a set of varying input parameters, ANSYS Workbench provides powerful tools to set up, run, and interpret these studies across multiple kinds of physics and software packages. Thank you for watching this Simutrain FEA Tips and Tricks video brought to you by Simutech Group.